hi guys welcome back to my channel today i have another recipe for you guys which you can make for your friends and family in the sayan tihar and it is called fini roti i describe it as a deep fried crispy layered bread it is another traditional food of nepal we make it only on this special occasion just because it takes quite a lot of time to prepare for this recipe you will need plain flour or maida ghee or clarified butter rice flour sugar to taste and oil for frying at first take a bowl and add half a cup of rice flour and three tablespoon of ghee and mix them until you get a nice dough this is going to be our filling and it is also known as sato in nepalese it's going to help us to get many layers in our fini roti once you uh, once you get a nice dough leave that aside and take another mixing bowl and add 4 cups of plain flour and 2 tablespoons of ghee and mix them. Now add your sugar and again mix them together. Once you finish mixing them, it's time to add water. Be very careful while adding water. Add little water at time and mix them and keep doing it until you get a nice dough. Once your dough is ready, put it on a work surface and knead it until the dough is soft. Once the dough is soft, cover it with a plastic wrap and leave that aside for a while. Then get your oil ready for frying. While your oil is getting ready, go back to your dough and cut it into two halves. Then take one of the halves and keep rolling, uh, start rolling it. Keep rolling it until you get a big uh, thin sheet. Once your sheet is ready, uh, get your filling you prepared earlier and spread it evenly all over the sheet. Once you finish spreading the filling, start rolling your sheet as uh, I have shown in the video. Now cut the edges off so that you can get the even pieces. Cut your roll into small uh, even pieces and take one of them and roll it uh, as you guys can see in the video and make few cuts on the fini roti. Now your fini roti is ready for frying. While frying your fini roti, be careful and flip it over few times. Once your fini roti is slightly golden in color, it's ready. So take it out and put it on a paper towel so that the paper towel can soak all the excess oil. Likewise, fry all your fini rotis and your fini rotis are ready to be served. Uh, you can have them hot instantly but I like to have mine the next day with a nice cup of tea. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this recipe. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.